We've got to keep talking about this. This is so critical to everybody. Now, Albanese is in lockstep with Matt Keane in New South Wales. You've heard what Mark just said. They're talking about 82% of power from renewables by 2030. That's seven years' time. Mark. Well, it can't be done, Alan. And, and even if you could uh, import enough solar panels and uh, wind turbines from China to build these things in the western part of New South Wales, there's no way, and uh, Ayumo has said this today, there's no way there's the backup power, the firming capacity, to keep the lights on for when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining. So th these things are simply now a matter of engineering reality, that it's not going to happen. And, and this was the warning we gave when mm. we made the upper house vote 85 times. The Greens voted against us. The Liberals, the Nationals, the Labor and Lockstep all voting against us mm. when we said 85 times in divisions, you are rushing madcap to 100% renewables and you won't have the firming and backup power capacity. You'll drive the coal-fired power stations out of the market early, and that's certainly happening with Arari, and uh, uh, blackouts will be the result. So um, unfortunately, it's a case of we, we did tell them, but they mm. didn't listen. Mm. There's an ideological and also financial reasons why we've gone down this uh, economic suicide note. And unfortunately, it's working people who are going to pay big time. Absolutely. And to my viewers outside, you see, this is the issue with an election. You've heard this bloke and you'll be hearing a lot more of him. But if you can't manage change in the lower house, you've then got to make sure this bloke has got the numbers in the upper house to be able to stand up to this nonsense. Today, Mark Latham, you released, I think it was today, an outstanding statement on energy security. It was a simple statement by talking about increasing the supply. <laughs> How difficult is that? And that would bring down prices. But I mean, these people are putting all their eggs in the renewable basket, driving baseload yep. power out of the system. Now, if you reduce the supply of bananas or potatoes, you're going to increase the price, aren't you? Here we are reducing the supply, taking significant fossil energy providers of electricity out of the market. Price goes through the roof. Yeah, well, it's an economic truism, isn't it, that uh, if you restrain supply prices go up, the answer is to increase supply. Nuclear, coal, gas, renewables that have already been built, uh, instead of having eggs in one basket, we should have four sectors that are flourishing, increased electricity supply and some relief for consumers. So these things are common sense. And gas is the other one, Alan. Gas has been restrained in New South Wales, yeah. the biggest state in the Commonwealth. We've got plenty of gas in the ground. We are 5% gas self-sufficient, and they've just gone down the path of saying they'll ban the um, uh, the PEP gas exploration off the coast of New South Wales. The policy is don't don't uh, find gas and, and, and use it off the coast of New South Wales. Put floating windmills out there, destroying mm. property values well, and course, the amenity of our beaches. Well, of course, so as you know, the, the, the madness is everywhere. It's madness. on the coast and it's off the coast. But, but, but as you know, this PEP... This PEP project is not even in New South Wales waters. <laughs> it's 50 kilometres off the coast. That's Commonwealth waters. Uh, Matt Keane saying, I'll get hairs on my chest. I'll stop all this sort of stuff. Now, listen, we won't mix things up tonight, so I'll leave it there and come back next week and we'll really focus on this education. We've got an energy crisis and an education crisis and no one is addressing that better than you. But I do say to viewers, you've heard Mark Latham tonight, where are you going to find a person in the state parliament as articulate in relation to your concerns, the cost of your business, the cost of energy, the unreliability of it, the damage that this is going to do to the future of your kids? Well, you've heard him and you'll hear him again next week. Mark, thank you for your time. Good to talk to you. Pleasure. Thanks, Alan. It's Mark uh, Latham, the One Nation leader. But I tell you what, I'll be telling people to give their vote in the upper house to this bloke because if you can't stop the rubbish and there's plenty of it in the lower house, you can at least knock it off in the upper house. We'll, he'll be back again next week.